What's going on everyone? I'm Torn with Servicide and today we're going to be going over my climbing system uh, as far as how I get into the tree, what my setup is for hunting whitetails uh, and backcountry hunting whitetails. So, starting out, I run a saddle system. I've kind of gotten away from the, the tree stand scene and been running this. Uh, I find it to be a much lighter system and it allows me to get in uh, honestly a lot more trees than you can with a, a hang on and most certainly with a climber. So this is a cruiser saddle. Uh, it's made in the USA, has an AM steel bridge, Raptor clips, which I think is the bee's knees. These are awesome. Uh, it has this fold here for more comfortability. Uh, yeah, that's that. I don't want to get into this too much. This is just meant to be an overview. We'll save that for a later video. I am currently running the Muddy Pro sticks. Uh, I run four of these, and that gets me up to about 20 feet. And then... Moving down the road here, I have the Cranford Scaffold. Now, I, I just got these a couple days ago. So what I need to do is they're a little on the noisy side. You can hear the metal clanking around when you keep them like this. They're not going to go on the tree like that. They'll be spread out around the tree, and you can basically walk around on these little L brackets. Uh, they're very, very well made. They're a little bit on the heavy side. They're all steel, but uh, it's not that bad. I think it's like right around mm, two pounds. Maybe I'd have to double check. I think it is two pounds because I think they're eight ounces each. But anyway, I need to wrap some uh, silent tape on those so that I don't get to squeak from my boots and then you don't have that metal clanking together. Uh, this is my tether system. So this is a... I think this is a 10 foot rope if I remember correctly. This, I went, I opted to go with a larger rope. Most ropes that you see coming from saddle companies are an eight foot rope. In some of these larger diameter trees, uh, it doesn't give you a lot of room to play around with uh, for adjustability. And that extra two feet I found puts me right in the money zone. Uh, I'm running a uh, Prusik knot, and then I have a homemade tender that I made. That can all be, we can go down that rabbit hole in another video. And then lastly, which is probably the most important piece of a saddle system, uh, is going to be knee pads if you are a sitter. And that's what I am. So there is a difference between sitters and leaners, if you will. So when you're hooked up to the tree in your saddle, a leaner is somebody that's just going to lean back like this the entire time, either on a platform or on your, uh, your uh, ring of steps. You're never sitting down like this with your knees buckled into the tree. And I do the latter. I sit down with my knees up against the tree. And for the, the first couple sits, I didn't have a set of knee pads. And I actually got black and blue marks all over my knees from it. Uh, I went and bought these off of Amazon for like 30 bucks, supported Jeff Bezos, and, uh, and got these. Uh, I am probably, these are a little bulky, I think I'm gonna get something a little different, um, but they've done the job so far. So, if anybody has any questions, you can email me, torrentservicesite.com, or uh, shoot us a DM.